topic for the Valentine's week, but we are talking about the cycle of narcissistic abuse. First stage is idealization. Putting the victim on the pedestal, how by giving 24-7 attention, using all their charms. Narcissistic people can be really charming. Yeah, they are really charming. They are like vampires. This is the stage where they will love bomb the victim with promises, compliments, expensive gifts. And this is done in like a very short period of time. Like you guys don't know each other that much. Even three months is considered less. So within like two to three months, this person is showering with showering you with expensive gifts and whatnot. That is love bombing. People with poor attachment styles, they would love this love bombing part because they feel seen, they feel heard, they feel validated. The narcissist wants to know everything about the victim, their whereabouts, their family, their friends, what they are watching every day, where they are going every day, basically their routine, every bit of it, each and every part of the victim's life. Now this gives them the insight about the victim's strengths, weaknesses, interests and they use this to strategize how to impress this victim, how to get them under their control, how to get that commitment from them. To get that control, to get that commitment, this narcissistic person will go to the extent of making huge promises, huge but false future promises. There will also be a tendency to get sympathy from you by telling you stories constantly where he or she is a victim and uh, how he or she was wronged this was done to me i was wronged this happened to me so this is a way of getting sympathy from the other person once they are successful getting you into that relationship getting that control that commitment they enter the second stage devaluation this is the stage where this i am such a good choice a good partner for you will actually crumble because this person was faking it till he or she made it now she has you now he has you they will not like it if you are slightly better than him or her in something or you are doing great in your life in your career they will belittle your achievements they will put your self-esteem down they will criticize you in this stage they will break your self-esteem this person put you up on a pedestal because he or she was faking it just to get you otherwise this person with a narcissistic personality sees himself or herself here they are always here in their head their esteem self esteem is very high they cannot they cannot see the other person shine narcissist will try to cut you off from your friends family loved and dear ones whom you love to spend time with because the narcissist will try to make you feel that i am the only one no one is there for you you basically have me you are lucky for having me this is the phase where the narcissist will slowly put themselves on the pedestal see i know how to take a joke i can't even joke around you you take things so seriously they will also try to shift their blames on others external factors friends it can also be you i was texting this boy this girl because you you couldn't give me time you didn't give me that attention you made me feel unloved Therefore, I was texting this boy, I was texting this girl because he or she was giving me this validation. You are responsible for this. It is because of you that I cheated. Gaslighting. They will often use a third party name. Might be an ex, might be a girl in the class, in the office, might be someone new. They will use their example. You know my ex, she used to cook for me. You know my ex, she never treated me like this. You know this girl in class so sweet to me so good so a comparison which will actually make your insecurity here you will be insecure you will be jealous the question is even after all this criticism why is this victim staying because the narcissistic personality is very sneaky they are hot and cold sometimes when they feel that they are losing that control losing the control over you is like you're you're going to go you're going to break this relationship they will sometimes give you that reinforcement uh, that putting you up in the pedestal all of a sudden but then again showing you that criticism again they are showing you love then they feel like they're going to lose you so this is how what how you form a trauma bond this hot and cold attitude this is how the person the victim is actually developing a trauma bond with a narcissistic personality so the third stage is the discard stage abruptly ending the relationship this is mostly because the person has already found another interest another shiny toy a fling a relationship a person 
Yes, they have already found it in the th uh, second stage and that's why you're not serving anymore. The victim by this stage is already tired, most probably has no one because the narcissist has already isolated this person from, the, from his or her loved ones. So they are tired, they are burned out, they are not serving the narcissist anymore. They are so full of insecurities, they are, their esteem is here and they have a lot to work on themselves. They are burned out, they are depressed. They are anxious, they're walking on eggshells and they're no longer serving the narcissistic person. And a narcissistic person loves to feel special. More, since the victim is no more putting the narcissist in the pedestal, is making him feel like he's the best, he's the best partner. He is getting that kick from the new partner who is putting him or her up on that pedestal and he or she is loving it and a narcissist loves to treat people like an object so they will therefore discard you. You are no more required in his life you and while discarding you, they will make sure to make you believe that you are the reason that this did not work out. You are the reason. You ruined it. I will still call the victim lucky if the abuser stops at this stage. However, not every narcissistic abuser will stop at this stage. They will move to the next stage, hovering. Some of these abusers, they will keep a tab on you. They will see how you're doing in life. So once they are bored with a new toy, another toy, another toy, they will try to contact the victim, this victim again, and see how he or she reacts. If the person is willing to reconcile, the cycle starts. Love bombing grandeur way of saying sorry i will change this therefore the cycle will start again and they will actually do this to not one victim they will do this to multiple of their victims they will try to contact them see uh, hover see how the person is actually texting back or not if if the person has moved on is not texting back they will most probably move on as well but if the person shows interest they will give that full the first first stage of this love bombing putting you on a pedestal saying sorry if you see this pattern in your relationship maybe this is a great week to break the cycle and run for the hills do not look back do not look back don't even peek break the cycle run do not look back